Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Electro Study. This is lecture series 21, Computer Networks Dealing with Transport Layer. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So we have seen about data link layer, network layer and now this is the fourth layer we are seeing that is the transport layer. So this is the transport layer which is responsible for transporting all the data or pockets from the upper layer to the lower layer or the lower layer to the up upper layer with fo by following different protocols. Now this transport layer provides communication directly from the application layer to the different host in whatever layer it might be. So, this transport layer, it is following two protocols, one is TCP and another one is UDP. So, these two uh, protocols provide some set of services to the network layer. What type of services it provides is, it collects all the messages, data from the application layer, divides into segments in the transport layer and it is sent to the network layer which is accepted by the internet protocol in the network layer. So all the segmented pack, uh, data that is sent from the transport layer, it is again reassembled completely to form a complete message. So there are different services provide, provided in the transport layer to ensure that there is no error while transmitting the pocket or there is a control of congestion in the network. So there are many services to prevent all these. There are many services that is provided by the transport layer. The services are end-to-end -end delivery, addressing, reliable delivery, flow control and multiplexing. So what is end-to-end -end delivery? End-to-end -end delivery is nothing but when you are transmitting a data from a source to destination, we have to ensure that whatever data from the source it is sent to the destination, the entire message without any error or without any loss, it has to be sent or received by the receiver. So this end-to-end -end delivery ensures that end-to-end -end delivery of an entire message from the source to the destination is perfectly done in the transport layer. Next is reliable delivery. This reliable delivery is again divided into four controls. It has four controls, error control, sequence control, loss control and duplication control. Now, what is error control? See, we have seen that when a pocket is transmitted from a source to the destination, there should be no errors in the pocket. That is, there should be no loss of pockets done in the transmission medium. So here, the, it doesn't like it will be checking for error free delivery but it, we cannot assure that every time there will be 100% free delivery error delivery services that will be provided between the source and the destination. So here this error control what it does, it, it does is it ensures only node to node error delivery system that is First, it checks that each and every node which is contacted between the source and the destination doesn't have any error. And finally, when it is received to the receiver, it makes sure that all the messages that are sent to the receiver end at the last is error free. Got it? Next is sequence control. What is sequence control? So this transport layer with the sequence control, it is responsible that it ensures all the pockets that is received from the upper layer, that is the application layer, can be used in all other lower layers like transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. And also on the receiving end, it, it ensures, it is ensuring that various segments of the transmissions can be reassembled in a correct way as sent from the upper layer. So it is, it is maintaining the sequence of the pockets that is sent time to time. Loss control. So obviously the name itself tells that it ensures that all the fragments of the transmission arrives at a destination without any loss and all the fragments from the transport layer 
during the transmission will be given by a sequence number remember all the fragments will be assigned with a sequence number in the transport layer so that all the sequence number will allow the receivers to identify if there is any missing data or missing segment in the transmission end got it so each and every pockets when it is started transmitting it is assigned with a sequence number so that at the end it is verified that all the sequence number from the center side is received by the receiver and if there is any loss it is identified based on the sequence number next is flow control flow control obviously you have to control the flow of transmission from sender to the destination because there should be no congestion that is occurring in the network so this flow control it prevents the sender from overwhelming the receiver that is it it should not overload the receiver with more pockets or it should not overload the network traffic At, and then it increases the network congestion and thus the this flow control when uh, network congestion is increased this flow control will reduce the system performance obviously so for that this flow control uses a sliding window protocol that is it uses a sliding window protocol such that the window whatever space it occupies only such such number of pockets will be stored in that sliding window once that sliding window is occupied by particular number of uh, packets that sliding will window will be moved and the next sliding win window will be opened so that it completely the flow of the pockets is controlled next is multiplexing so multiplexing now it is divided into two upward multiplexing and download downward multiplexing in upward multiplexing see here multiple transport layer connection uses the same network connection see in transport layer you have multiple network connection using one virtual circuit which is upward so these are all upward layer stacks in uh, in transport layer it uses multiple connection which you which is using the same network connection so when con considering this upward multiplexing it is cost effective and downward multiplexing you can see that the it allows the transport layer to split the connection among several paths so that it can improve the throughput of the system so when there is an increase in the throughput of the system it is used for the network which is having either low or slow capacity so that the uh, with with the usage of downward multiplexing the throughput of the slow or low capacity networks can be improved next is addressing so what is addressing the up uh, it provides an address to each and every pocket of the system see uh it is providing an address in the sense it can be it might be an ip address whatever see so here you have a port number for communication you will have a port number for communication see here there is 123659 mentioned in the transport layer so this is the port variable that represent a particular service that is used by the server so that is called as the transport service access point so this is the point where the peer to peer communication takes place and each of these stations will be having only one transport entity so it is making sure that it is addressing all the pockets with some kind of point called as the transport service access point stay tuned for more information we will be seeing about the protocols that is followed in transport layer thank you